So what you're going to do is you're going to put your posts in, whether you're doing it for your nipples or your nostril or around your ear or however you want to do it, you have to have the tops removed from your post. So what you're going to do is I have my tops removed already. I'm going to push it up so that the jump ring can catch onto my, onto my post. Sometimes it is easier to guide it with your gym. So like sometimes what I'll do is I'll put my top, like put the jump ring through the top gym, just like this. So the jump ring is attached there. And then I guide it through just to get that first one in. And so then it'll just kind of dangle for a second. You got, you know, some gold snot as Courtney calls it. <laughs> and then you just bring it around. So it's kind of sitting like this. And you can do the same thing. I find this easier for me when I'm doing it myself, just because my posts are pretty short, so it's hard for me to loop it on there. Um, but you can just grab your pin, uh, like your, your top, and you guide it through the hole of the jump ring. And then you can kind of use it as a guide into the other post. So you can see that it is onto my post now, and I'm just going to push my top in to lock it in. Money. Then you push your top in. And voila, you have a chain. And the same thing applies to any other type. So you can wear chains all kinds of ways. You can wear it across your nose. You can wear it under your nipples. You can wear it anywhere on your ears. If you want to connect two piercings together or if you just want to wrap it around one, that's how you do it. <laughs> 